the potent mix that was a slow start, lackluster power play and depleted roster, surprise created an obstacle far too large for the Boston Bruins to hurdle Wednesday night, as the black and gold fell to the New York Rangers, 4-2, at Madison Square Garden. Digging themselves a deep hole, after relinquishing three goals, including two by Rangers forward Jimmy Vesey in 29 seconds, the Bruins were unable to claw out of their predicament on a night where they went 0-4-4 on the man advantage. David Pasternak and Patrice Bergeron both scored for the Bruins, who fall to 6-5-3 on the season. Despite skating once again without regulars like Brad Markhand, David Krejci, David Bax and others, the Bruins have been able to stay afloat as of late, with Wednesday's matchup standing as just the second time in nine games that Boston did not secure a point. Tuukka Rask stopped 29 shots in a losing effort for Boston. The most frustrating thing is the start, again, Bruins head coach Bruce Cassidy said. We put ourselves in a bad spot, and in this league, it's tough to come back. We've had a couple of moral victories, or whatever you want to call them, and showed that we do have some character, and we're willing to fight to the last whistle, but we've got to learn, quickly, here now to not keep putting ourselves behind the eight ball. While Pavel Buchnevich opened the scoring at 9.53 in the first, after skating past Zdeno Chara and roofing the puck over Rask's shoulder, Boston countered just 21 seconds later. A shot from Bergeron sailed wide of Rangers goaltender Henrik Lundqvist, and off the end boards, where it careened right back to Pasternak, who brought the offering back in front, and tucked it, though Lundqvist's five hole to even the score. Vesey ultimately put New York up for good off of a quick sequence, giving his team the lead at 14:41 in the first, after pouncing on a loose puck that Brandon Carlo was unable to clear and firing it past Rask. Less than a minute later, Vesey was at it again, skating in perfect position to fire home a rebound off a shot from Kevin Shattenkirk for a 3-1 lead. Bergeron eventually lit the lamp for the Bruins to make it a one-goal game at 6.44 in the third, but that was all that Boston mustered, with Boston's power play only clicking on one goal in its last 13 attempts. You want to get results on the power play, and right now we are not getting them, Cassidy said, adding, we needed one on the specialty teams tonight. It certainly would have helped. Rick Nash added an empty net goal with eight seconds to go to close out the scoring. Despite losing seven of their first eight games of the season, the resurgent Rangers have now won five games in a row. The Bruins will resume play when they travel up to Toronto to battle the Maple Leafs on Friday, November 10th.